proving the Pythagorean theorem using similar triangles. We're at 7.3c, which means it's the third part of lesson 7.3. We've got five previous videos for chapter 7 that are in the geometry playlist. The Pythagorean theorem is one of the most widely used and well-known mathematical theorems. And the theorem has been proven in many different ways, some of which involve subdividing the triangle in some way. And the proof we're about to do uses similar triangles. So we're going to have to take a really close look at this. This is proving the Pythagorean theorem using similar triangles. It's given triangle ABC. So that's the black outer border with right angle C right here. We need to prove that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we have a paragraph proof. So for the big black triangle, we draw an altitude. It's going to go from C to D here. All right. And if you're confused about that being an altitude, imagine this whole thing is turned like this. So there's our altitude coming out of C, which would be up here. Okay. And then D would be down here. So that's our altitude. Okay. We do it from vertex C to side C. And by the reflexive property of congruence, angle A for the big black triangle is congruent to angle A of this red triangle we've now made. And angle B for the big black triangle is congruent to the angle B for the green triangle. And all right angles are congruent, so angle ADC, this right angle here, is congruent to ACB, this big right angle here. And angle BDC, there's a right angle here, is congruent to this big black right angle ACB here. Therefore, triangle ACD, the red one, is similar to the big black triangle ABC. And the green triangle CBD is similar to the big black triangle ABC by the AA similarity postulate. That's the angle-angle similarity postulate. So when we draw an altitude to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, we form two new triangles. Each new triangle is similar to the original triangle by the AA similar similarity postulate. We learned that in the first part of this lesson, 7.3a. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then they're similar. And using the similar triangles, we can write proportions to prove the Pythagorean theorem. So we have three similar triangles, the big black one, the green one, and the red one, because we made that orange altitude, okay? So by the transitive property of similarity, triangle ACD, the red one, is similar to triangle CBD, the green one. And corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. So if you look at this as there's a black line here, but then there's also a red line here. Okay, so let me get real close so you can see. So the outer big black triangle is the outer line, okay? So when I'm talking about C for the outer black line's hypotenuse, that C is going to be black, okay? And then you can see that this is this black line is a leg for this big black triangle, but it's also the hypotenuse for the red one, okay? So that's why I'm going to color coordinate this. So the hypotenuse C for the big black one over the hypotenuse for the green one is equal to the leg of the big black one over the leg of the green one, okay? So we've got this hypotenuse for the big black one over this hypotenuse of the green one. Then we've got the black leg of the black triangle over the green leg of the green triangle, okay? So what's happening is it's the hypotenuse of the big black triangle ACB over the hypotenuse of the green one CDB then we've got the short leg of a triangle ACB over the short leg of triangle CDB, the green one, okay? And we do the same thing for this one, for the red one. So because we have these, all right, we've got it here and we've got it here. I split them apart. We can do cross multiplication. We can do CF is equal to A squared. And for this one, we can do CE is equal to B squared. 
So this CE equals B squared, we can add an A squared to both sides of the equal sign. See that? Now we have A squared plus CE is equal to A squared plus B squared. Well, we can write CF plus CE here because CF is equal to A squared. We just did that here with the cross multiplication, didn't we? And now we've got CF plus CE is equal to A squared plus B squared. All right? And we've got a C and a C, so we can factor this as C times F plus E is equal to A squared plus B squared. But you know what? F plus E is equal to C because of the segment addition. C is equal to F plus E. See? So really what we've got is C times C, which is C squared. Ah, oh, that's C squared. So we have C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So here we've got a regular problem. A 20-foot ladder is leaning diagonally against a house, and the bottom of the ladder is 3.5 feet from the house. So that'll be our A, and the 20-foot ladder is going to be our hypotenuse C. How many feet above the ground is the top of the ladder? Okay, so we don't want the whole house. We just want where the top of the ladder is to make that triangle, okay? So we need B. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve it. We've got A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and we know this is 3.5. That's our A, so we've got 3.5 squared. That's 12.25. Then we've got our B squared, because we don't know what it is, and C squared would be 20 feet squared, wouldn't it? 20 squared. That's a 400. Now we've got this equation. We could subtract. 12.25 from each side and get B squared is equal to 387.75. We can take this little 2 exponent off by putting a radical sign around that side. So now B is equal to the square root of 387.75. We pull out our calculator and we see it's approximately 19.7 feet. Okay? So that's how tall it is. So by it being 3.5 feet away from the wall, the height of the ladder went down three inches, see? All right? Our next lesson is triangle, triangle proportionality theorem. Sorry about that. Triangle proportionality theorem, 7.4a. Then we're going to do the rest of 7.4 with construction of triangle proportionality and two transversal proportionality. And I think there's even one after that, okay? So that's the lessons that are coming up. So now we've proved the Pythagorean theorem so far in this playlist a couple of different ways, all right? So keep trying. I'm proud of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.